Good afternoon everyone, you're now with me, Emmanuel Ruben, in the segment of TVS New News, 29 November editions. The professions of local journalists must be upgraded to a certain status and a position so as to have quality presentation of subject befitting the war of journalism. In starting this during the 29th Kenyalang Journalism Awards held at Pullman Hotels Miri, Chief Minister Dato Patingi Aban Zohari to an open said journalists have to write a good articles that are not only based on popularity but also of quality and feature articles that disseminate current development of all over the world. He also thanked all the newspapers in Sarawak for their fair and balanced reporting, not only to report the government agenda of development, but also the opposition issues. On the appeal from journalists for the state government to assist in upgrading the field, he said he would ask Yayasan Sarawak to sponsor them to attend courses. Prime Minister Datu Sri Najib Tun Raza said the government will implement a more infra-rakyat projects such as the Rawang Bypass project in Selangor. In conjunction with the opening of Rawang Bypass to traffic from 6am today, he tweeted saying the bypass will reduce travel time of motorists and preserve the environment. The 9km stretch Costing 628 million ringgit involved the construction of the tallest pole at 58 meters above ground level. The Rawang bypass will benefit some 30,000 users daily. The project started on July 16, 2005, and was fully completed on November 21st. It is expected to reduce traffic congestion and cut travel time from Serendah to Selayang, especially during peak hours. The number of flood victims in Kelantan continues to rise as of mornings today, with 6,000 victims placed at relief centres compared to 5,000 victims at the 9 last night. Tumpar was the latest district to be hit as 28 victims from six families were evacuated to a relief centre this morning. So far, 90 relief centres have been opened in nine districts, namely Kota Baru, Pasemas, Tumpat, Bachop, Tanah Merah, Pasepute, Kuala Krai, Mashang and Jeli. The Social Welfare Department's InfoBanja application said Pasemas had the highest number of victims with 2,000 from 1,000 families at 34 relief centres, followed by Kota Baru with 1,000 victims from 300 families at 11 relief centres. In Mashang, 685 victims from 212 families remain at 7 relief centres, while 589 victims from 185 families were at 6 relief centres in Pasepute. In Tanah Merah, 560 victims from 149 families were evacuated to 17 relief centres, while in Jali, 345 victims from 95 families were placed in three relief centres. A total of 304 victims from 73 families were evacuated at two relief centres in Bachok, while in Kuala Krai, 200 victims from 50 families were placed at nine relief centres. Meanwhile, the Department of Irrigation and Drain Ash Flood Information Portal said the water level at Sungai Golo in Pantau Panjang Harpasemas had risen to 10 meter at 8 a.m. today compared to 10 meter at line last night. The danger level is 9 meter. Scattered thunderstorms were reported to have occurred in several areas in Kelantan last night. Well, that wraps up our new news today. Thank you for watching. I'm Mano Ruben. Anytime, anywhere.